Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Great Book of Grudges. My name is Nathan and we're back with our end time scenario campaign. So, we have been kind of busy. Busy, busy, busy. We've been suffering everywhere. And we've been getting attacked by practically everyone. Which obviously does provide us with a problem. Now, we come for revenge. Sorted. We'll be done with chaos for a while. We're going to start moving out the armies. Basically, the plan at the moment what is, your is first Taking to bring my this leave. person here. You, my dear, can come this way. Apparently, you didn't want to move just yet. Your coming was foretold. Sorceress. I know the way. Protector of the realm. We're going to have to start moving out, and the problem is that there are a lot of enemies everywhere, so let's start seeing if we can thin the herd. Right. My strength and wisdom are yours. For now, yes. This does suck because we have to pretty much move a few armies everywhere, but the plan is do that, do that, do that. Let's go deal with this. Good thing is they've been like building up and so on. It's just there's a lot of Fimir. A lot of like enemies, but squish. the case of that but now we're a little bit better off How dare you? don't know what they actually have so I'm gonna wait a little bit and see if they move my plan is actually just to take this from them even if it does mean get, uh, getting another enemy it's more of the case of just getting it over and done with Armored in faith. and next time we'll start seen. moving in we do have to make a few enemies here, but it'll be worth it if we end up getting more land. So, we'll take that, which is level 4, it will turn to level 3, which will at least give us a wall. We'll leave three armies up there and we'll start moving out. Unfortunately, Vampies, I need you guys to... Uh, the danger thou art in, mortal. Mine patience wears thin. They're actually allied. No? Okay. Well, no. The fact is, they're not going to be here for long. That's obvious. And I wanted to have a little bit of a push in, but... Uh, screw me? Screw me. Then let's get you latest mantle so you can actually survive a little bit. You Leon, mate. Weapon strength for cavalry would be good. And let's just work on Albrecht and be done with that. Because I know he's got a lag up. Lance of Titonia. Charge bonus. Right, so he doesn't have missiles. Oh no, he's already got that. Okay, well, you're practically crap, aren't you? Let's just make you a little stronger then, see if we can actually use you well in battle. Chaos has been pushed aside, and they'll have to wait a while before they actually get anything good. They'll probably get another Doom Tide in, though. But by the time their Doom Tide comes down to us, we'll actually be geared. See, that worked out. Because I don't mind using crappy units. 
I would have preferred if I could have used Leon and taken him down, because I want him to be the one to fight the Errantry War, but, uh... You know, beggars can't be choosers, really. Let's take this territory. To victory for the lion. I suppose so. Right. I mean, it's not the best, but at least we've now got a walled city, you know? The Wood Elves will be causing some problems, so let's start dealing with them. Lord, for the lady! Blessings of the lady be upon you. As you say... Protector of the realm. Moving out. Next turn we can take that. Honor before glory. Going for. They're running out of troops, so that's perfectly fine. My strength and wisdom. We'll come back here to regenerate. They've got a level four, that means a walled city there. Please tell me that you have lightning strike. Do you know who I am? Yes, okay, well this works out for us. Um, yes. At this point, we can actually afford to move this dude. So, slowly he'll start moving up and we'll actually take Karak Izor. Given the circumstance of that, I'll move him back. Hold there. Let's start building. Maybe we got some level sixes. So first that and that, then that and that, then this, that, 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 that. I mean, we'll be recruiting some shit units uh, very soon because we'll have to actually expand further to be able to afford all this stuff. But my idea is literally just to take some of these places and hold. The good thing is we are ending up with a decent amount of territory, so I can't really complain. That's level 5, so how about we get rid of this now and actually start working on tax. Let's build that up. We have to tax everyone, it's what we do. We are Bretonia, and Bretonia demands taxes. Now, on the plus side, we do have a nice wall of defense there. With this new territory, we've managed to put ourselves in a little foothold. We will have to deal with the, with the undead. But once that starts actually becoming an issue, we would have captured Talia, moved our way into the vaults, so these mountains here, and probably started attacking, well, gaining the uh, western border princes. In terms of these guys, I think... Alright, so they are losing territory. This is beautiful for us, really.
and they can just stay there all they want. We're practically at war with pretty much the whole world, except for the Beastmen, for now. They can raid me all they want. Five, right, let's start working on growth. Highest. Just so. Get to the enemy. Very well, if you insist. Okay, this belongs to us now. I have seen your heart making my way armored in faith moving out we'll move out together of the lady. I want them to raid through it my plan is to capture Altdorf because that would be amazing to have for us. I have seen your heart. The good thing is we can start making more troops and be fine. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. And we're out of cash. Oh well. So you see, this is all they have left. That's the last of our allies. Honor to your ancestors. Just trying to improve with anyone. Which sucks, but I mean, look, they've got one. You know, it's not like they're actually going to be able to do anything for us. Yes. My reputation precedes me. All right. Right, that's the next target. We'll be able to see a little bit from here, so, I mean, it'll work out for us. Do you know who I am? Let's see if we can actually do this without getting slaughtered. I see much. Maybe we should move her down? I'm gonna wait and see. Hello, Beastman. I'm cool with the raiding of everything, but it's more... Oh, that sucks. I hate when they do that. Just build that up. 
armored in faith. If the lady wills it. Attack! Slay them! Really? It shall be so. Why do you guys have to be the reason why I can't get anything? Guardian of Bretonia. It shall be so. Well, that's a little scary, isn't it? Hello, Kasrak. Um, I love you. Protector of the realm. Well, well, he's got lightning strikes, so at that point, that's fine. Let's actually move these guys in via raids. I go theater. Sorceress. I have seen the way. I know the way. Hello, Mr. Everchosen. I guess you were ready for me, weren't you? We have met before. Right, well, we're going to have to start moving down. Let's bring down the army this way. Two turns will capture two pots of land, which will pretty much help us. We pretty much have to see how we're actually going to do anything. It'll be good to see the Wood Elves gone, at least. Alright, well, I gave me the most. Okay. They're raiding that, that's fine. I'm more concerned about this. But I will build up some peasant armies very, very soon. First, we get this. Very well, if you insist. Valiant Lord. Well, you guys are very friendly towards me, so that's cool. If you guys can just go deal with some other people, you'll make my life a little easier. Especially since that's Malagor with <laughs> a few gobbles. Fuck knows what this lad has, but uh, oh, no, no, this blowing. is mine now, yeah? For now, yes. Thank you. Let's do that. See us. The lady protects me. Faith is my armor. I'm going to try and be cheeky. That's the target at the moment. If we can actually get that, you know, we've got a nice little bit of land to protect ourselves with we've just expanded quite heavily too so that's going to work out in our favor the lack of cash is a bit brutal but we've got to do what we've got to do really it's more the fact that we're getting raided left right and fucking center Your coming was foretold. see look peasants are just 20 so we could essentially spawn off a bunch of armies of peasants Spellcaster. and keep relatively safe. I have seen the way. I mean, we've got a decent amount of what we could do for this. It's just like one here, one there, one there, you know, just so we don't have to be scared of um, 
Mikey. Be scared of like uh, you know practically well anyone really. The 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 beastmen are our biggest trouble because they can travel and they've got decent armies. But they're kind of liking us at the moment, so let's just take that advantage. So all the other beastmen factions, and I'm loving that. I am actually loving that. Because I guess they don't really give too much of a shit about the Norskans. Well, they like that we hate them. And these beastmen seem to like the fact that we're fighting chaos. I mean, I'm not going to complain. I am not going to complain at all. If they want to give me all this shit, that's all good for me. I don't mind. take every bloody win I can take. Cool. Fight amongst yourselves. They do that. It's fucking expensive. Fortune favors you. Lord. All right. Very well. I go. Right, so that's another piece of land. We can just keep moving slowly and just moving out. That should be fine. Protector of the realm. Guardian. I accept. What is your behest? Lord. I want to keep that army there just in case. I have seen your heart. My lady goes. I'll try and see how far I can go. That's the line, isn't it? Yeah, okay. Devotee of the, lady. the plan is to move up through here. Capture this zone and that's going to give us a nice little bit of land. Expansion will be slow, because there are countless armies and greenskins. know I honestly don't know the building breaking is very uh, frustrating to say the least and we have no money which obviously like screws us it really does the more they come down the more it's just gonna cause us problems but I really needed that city. I mean, look at that. Fuck you. Know. My strength and wisdom are yours. I never fail. Taking my leave. Buffed. Keep 
that going like that. Your coming was foretold. My sight is yours. Blessings of the lady be upon you. Yes. And now, yes. Prophetess. Honor before glory. Mm, to be honest, that's the better army, so. Noble. Let's see if we can actually just I will move as quickly as we can. What is your behest? Willingly, I see my path. I will not obey. Your words and heart are hollow. My hounds will gorge them. They've managed to capture some you land. Ask this of me. Is the and they have another army. Now, no, mind you, if they hero. attack me, I don't have the best hero, but I should be able to hold them back. Back. I'm going to be smart about this. Going I just don't see how we're going to be able to do this. Look, they're bringing up armies this way, which obviously is understandable. I'm just hoping that they'll stay away. At least enough for me to build up and not have to worry. I could have taken out one, but not two. Try and see if I can actually get away. Right, they're regretting it then. to be ours. So let's come up here. Of course. I go hence. It shall come to pass. That's pretty much what I wanted from there. This is being built up. This still has a way to go. The good thing is we are ending up with everything we need here, so that's perfectly fine. Next turn, we should be able to afford boosting that up. Provided no buildings get destroyed. I mean, we're doing okay, given the circumstance of where we're at. 
I'm just a little concerned that we might have to suffer. Get some reduction, actually. It'll do us some good. Your coming was foretold. Some growth. Protector of the realm. He's doing really well for himself, to be My honest. And I would love to move Leon down. He's got a decent army to take out all these greenskins, really. It's just so expensive, these high tier units. I have seen your heart. I think it's about time we start working on our peasant army. We're going to wait a few turns, but then we're going to start building them up. We're going to leave one army in every provincial capital. Right, well, we don't need that growth, so we can destroy that. So we can leave an army in every provincial capital, at least by that point. Should the worst come to pass with the Beastmen, we'll have a defense. Because, you know, they'll have the walls and all that. You know, that will all be sorted. So, it's more of the case of just leaving some heroes there with a few units extra to hold back. Should the worst come to happen. It'll just be a peasant with uh, a hero at level 6 with 4 peasants each. That just adds to it, you know? Plus, we might be able to get a decent amount of of extra income if we get them level 6, because that way we can actually get a bit of extra money. I mean, we'll try the theory out now and see. And they killed my hero. Great. Son of a bitch. We got no level sixes? Oh, well, you're gonna be very expensive. We have met before. My money! My money! Oh, my poor money. Why? Why do I have to suffer like this? Blessings of the lady be upon you. My strength and wisdom are yours. I'm concerned about the Wood Elves getting their lands back. I serve the lady. My magic is yours. My reputation precedes me. Yes. The problem is one assassination can literally turn the tide of war for us tremendously. Do you know who I am? At least we're going to be able to build up for a bit, but I'm, I'm just so out of cash.
That's all we have. We literally have no money. And it really does suck. Jagged Horn Tribe destroyed, all right, that's good. Oh, really? Another building? It's these bloody Norskins, we've got to get rid of them fast. Right, if you guys want that, that will make it easier for me because that means I can actually go for you. Just having no money at the moment really does suck. Can I replace you with someone higher? Yes, I can. Awesome. Thank you. At least I get my money back. Bloody hell. You know how bad it is to have just 1,000 income when you're playing this? We're still trying to build up all this shit, too. At least, hopefully, next time we can actually do that without a problem. to build this up, get the wall, and I can actually move out with two armies. So we can come here, regroup, take all this, if we see it as here and here, we can have two armies, two armies, and we can hold back the greenskins, I imagine. I'm hoping. Where the hell did they go? The funny thing is they have numbers, right? And if they would attack me constantly, I'd eventually have to stop. But the AI is not that smart, obviously. Stop breaking my buildings. Oh, for fuck's sake.
That's two buildings this time. Such arrogance. A timely arrival. My war. Alright, we'll deal with that in a second. Looks like they left. My strength and wisdom are yours. So we wait. Mm. Yes, because that will give us the wall, so that's fine. Yes. Bretonia. Protector of the realm. I don't care about chivalry at the moment. I'm just trying to get my money back. My reputation proceeds. Lord of Bretonia. Well, that was all right. Hyas, taking my leave. Your coming was foretold. Can we afford that? Yay, we can. All right. We're slowly getting there, guys, slowly. Given where we are, that's okay because we've got one dude Blessings down the there, which I assume has bailiff. Yeah, he does. I want to just keep doing that. You know, the more we can keep getting any sort of income, it's just going to help. My idea is to move out very soon, build up a nice defensive line here so we can hold back the green skins and we can hold back... The Norskins and the undead. Now, if we can just... Right, we'll wait a few turns and then we'll start moving this army down to capture Grimhold. And that gives us a pure, or well, almost pure, clean line. So I think that should be okay. I have seen your heart. I'd be tempted to get rid of all this, to be honest. Let's see some. Yeah, we can get... Uh, I think we can only get level 6 as direct. Oh, there we go, some cash. I don't see us having any luck here. There are just so many Norskans. We'd need about four or five armies to push out. But I'd rather work my way down south first. Right, son of a bitch. Right, let's see what we've got down here. Apparently we saw them. Right, that's okay. Right, we're going to end it here. And when we return, we're going to try... I use the term try... To boost up our income. 
and to actually start working out how we're going to start moving this is not going to be easy at all but needs to be done needs to be really really done at least we're going to get some walls down here so that's perfectly fine mm, it's going to be fun right I shall see you guys very soon, and hopefully we can start pushing out. Adios.